That's just how the Paladin rolls. I'm sorry, guys. So, Luigi. Luigi just jumps high and flutters. So, he, he is the big jumper. Sometimes it's not... You can't control him, but it's like lost levels. You can't control him much anyway. This is Captain Pound LP. Welcome to continuation of Retro Classic number three of Super Mario Brothers 2. This is the Super Mario Brothers 2 of the US of A. And of course, we're going to go ahead and play it off from as soon as I can find my freaking co cursor here. It's not showing itself. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this uh, let's play right here let's go ahead and do this and i think after this we're gonna do super mario world both and i'm gonna say super mario world will be done with me and my bro hammer both so we're both gonna do this so let's go ahead and get this going here super mario 2 so let's go ahead and start a new file let's start with file let's just get rid of all everything let's go with file b this time File B, Super Mario Bros. 2, 1988 for the NES, 1993 when this copy was released. And let's go with a story. When Mario opened a door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world appeared before him. And he heard a voice call for help to be free from a spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Well... That is rather interesting. Now, I'm going to keep a tabulation of which character on this one I'll be using. Because you get... I like to use each person rather um, equally. So, <laughs> some stages will be done probably with more one or one person. But let's just go ahead and start with Mario here. World 1-1. More of an introductory world. But let's go ahead and jump around here. And yes, this is off from the NES. I'll be trying to get close to a completionist playthrough of this, but I will rely on my uh, viewers to f help me find any secrets that I may have missed. So I will, if I miss anything in the secrets, your job is to help me find them. So I will do my best to. You know, do it. stop saying you know, Paladin. <laughs> I will do my best to go do another pl playthrough of it and find the secrets myself. So I'll do that. You guys will be my eyes and ears elsewhere. Now, of course, that was in subspace. We were in subspace. You can find mushrooms to get yourself another, say, heart container. Yes, in this game, there's hearts, heart containers, sort of speak. This is like almost like Zelda-like thingamajig. I don't know. I mean, this is completely different from the. <laughs> um, dude, watch it. Um, uh, uh, NES. Of course, those are shy guys. That brown thing is called Tweeter. Tweeter, get it? it the tweet. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, you, you didn't hear from me. And yes, these enemies respawn. You got power blocks. Watch out for this foe. I don't want to get hit. If I get hit, I die. Of course, you can. All right, so controls B and A jump. You got X and Y run. You can also um, crouch. And you crouch long enough, you do a power jump. So that will definitely come in handy when you do do this um, game. Very fun game. I think this is a very fun game. And bombs you might want to get rid of because they do explode on. Anya, if you're not careful. Five cherries. You can get them in subspace as well. They'll cause a star to appear. I mean, this is not like any other Mario game you've ever played. I mean, and there is a ninja. You get to see them in Paper Mario. Mm, fun and all this fun and shenanigans. This is all great. But I will be releasing these episodes intermittent. 
along with Majora's Mask because, uh, you know, Majora's Mask does take a lot of time. And in case I'm going to I'm going back to college here in 20th of January, you know, it, Majora's Mask will take a lot of my time to, in addition, but I'm hopefully my credits here. This is a shortcut to Birdo. It's kind of a back door. I'm going to go through the front door. So just go ahead and throw this bomb here. Let me get back to where we were. I should throw that shy guy away. You're nothing, I swear. All right, so this game really does not have a lot of explanation to it. I'm just saying, let's go ahead and use a potion here. Because there is another mushroom here in subspace. Pull up more coins. And I think I like the 16-bit version a little bit better than the um, 8-bit version. But some people will actually play the 8-bit version, which I don't blame you. Alright, so I'll be doing one world per episode. I mean, it's, this game is simple enough. I'm going to record three or four worlds in this episode. Just for starters. And <laughs> that, well, that didn't help me a bit. There, just throw them against each other. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, eat veg. Eat your. This game will teach you to eat your vegetables, and you, and you will die if you don't eat your vegetables. I mean, that's the kind of the message I got from this game. <laughs> all right, so there's Hoopster right here. It's just a ladybug, but we're just gonna go ahead and ignore. We're gonna go ahead and. Fight our nemesis here. This is Birdo from, and of course, in the NES version, they didn't put Birdo with a bow on top of its head. I mean, seriously, if it's not like um, um, Austin Powers and Doctor No, so I have one simple request: is to have sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. If you know what I'm saying. So we defeated Birdo. So we can go ahead and pick up this like crystal egg. That will release, uh, open the eagle head for us. Now, at the end of every stage, you get a bonus chance time. Every time you complete one of these st uh, stages, if you pick up any coins. So, let's try for some cherries, if we can. Cherries are on, if it's cherry in the first spot, it's automatic one-up. They included something else into this game where if you get three sevens, you get ten lives. Everything else is two lives, except three cherries is three lives. So, I mean, it's very intriguing as it is. And if you get a cherry seven and seven, you get a three coin service. You get three more coins added to your total there, so you can try again. I'm going to try. Oh, for stars. No, nope, that ain't going to happen. I, I already know th these things don't happen when they don't happen. I mean, seriously. All right, let's. No, we're gonna be trying for something awkward. No, that ain't gonna happen. Well, oh, yeah. no, not gonna happen. We're too late. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so we are now at World One Two. There are three stages per world, except for World Seven, which is only has two. And I'm gonna go ahead and mark one for Mario since I've used them once, because they do keep a tabulation at the end. Who has been the most contributed? the contributor to this game, but I like to use everybody evenly. That's just how the paladin rolls. I'm sorry, guys. So, Luigi. Luigi just jumps high and flutters. So, he, he is the big jumper. Sometimes it's not... You can't control him, but it's like lost levels. You can't control him much anyway. So, let's see here. Let's keep moving. Alright. Alright, we got ourselves a po the portal here. Subspace. And of course, if you ever watched the Super Mario Super Show, this game is... The show is based off of Mario's 1 and 2. You can go down these pipes here for some 1-up. There's a 1-up down there. Alright. Get that cherry. Right, we don't want the cherry. We don't want the cherry. Cherries ain't good for us, but gives us extra lives in the slot machine. Introducing Fanto. Um, this guy is almost like King Ramses from Courage the Cowardly Dog. 
pick up his key, he is gonna return the key or suffer my curse. I mean, yeah, he's like that. He'll chase you after you pick it up, so you're just gonna have to run. So you just gotta run away every time he has one on pick up his keys, so you're just gonna have to bear with it. And of course, five cherries gets you an automatic star. And go ahead and just blow the way. Ah, dude. That is a sniff it. They shoot bullets at you. They're pretty common to the Super Mario Super Show as well. If you ever played, watch the series. It's very fun. I actually ordered the um, complete series of The Legend of Zelda that was on the Super Mario Super Show. Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up our prize here. Some stages will not have four. There are some that will you'll only be able to get three, so just keep that in mind every time you play this. You're just going to have to make do with what you've got. Pretty, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, let's go back here. We got a multi-coin opportunity here since we got a potion here. As potions just sometimes can just get you coins, not, you know, mushrooms. Just, I mean, this will just get you uh, things from multiple lives. And we're just gonna head and pull up as many as we can. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill him. And nothing. So we can pick up the heart we lost. And let's go fight Birdo. Alright. Let's do it. And Birdo in the GBA version of Super Mario Bros. 2. Birdo, every time you see um, Birdo, this is far as you go! I mean, seriously. That's what, it, what she says. Alright, so we picked up 10 coins, so we're just going to try this again. And you're going to watch me succeed. I don't care. You're going to like it. I don't know. Cherry. Now, nope, two up. There we go. That's pretty good. You do want to build up a sufficient life force if you can't. You know, but if not anything. No. Nope. Too late. And above all else, if you just want to... Just get the cherries if you can't get anything else. I mean... Uh, oh. Well, we got the three coin service, so we're going to be here a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm making you watch me. Uh, star? Not going to happen. Yeah, I realized that was a little too late as it slid away. Right, cherry. I would imagine they won't give it to us if we, you know, tried for the three coin service again. It just won't happen. I mean, rest assured it won't happen again. Rest assured, just go for the cherries. I mean, there we go. Three lives. But I'm going to try, if I can get three sevens, I'm going to try to get that at least one time. No, it was a little late. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, star. Uh, nope. Cherry. The worst time for a cherry. And this is not good commentary, I know. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, no go there. And if you can just get cherries, that will be your blessing. Alright. No. No, it was too early. Ugh. Sevens are sometimes the worst to get. Turn up. No, that ain't gonna go. <laughs> I knew it wasn't. Because the turn up and stars and sniffets will appear more often than... And we're going for sniff it. 
No, that's way too off. That's all off. All right, cherry time if we can. Now, now, go. Oh. oh well, we got 18 lives. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's see here. I'm gonna pick um, Peach here. Got one for Luigi. Now we're gonna pick Princess Toadstool here for this boss battle. Or, because this is, there is a boss at the end of this world, so. And I elect Princess Toadstool from the Mushroom Kingdom to help us out here. And this is the first time you get to use as a multiplayer character. And they kind of introduced this, and I think they did this for Super Mario 3D World as well. I'm not going to pick up the cherry, because that will trigger the star in subspace, and it will disappear if we go out of subspace at any time. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's how you do it. See, yeah, we already had, like, three or four cherries by the time we reached this point. And you notice Peach likes to fly, you know, fly like that. Let's kind of fly over here. And Peach has a difficult time picking stuff up, but that's understandable. Alright, so... We have to... Do something about this. There we go. The first time I did this, I had so much trouble, but we did it now. Because here's the mushroom. Pick up a few of them. We're not going to be able to pick them all up. Alright, so there's all turnips here. And of course, when you get the fifth one, it automatically triggers a stopwatch. Now, I wonder if that's where I got the stopwatch feature from Super Mario, um, or Versus. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay, so if you brought the potion over here, I believe if you brought the potion over here, you would have gone down this pipe and it would have been a warp zone to level fo world 4. So, yeah, that, that, uh, that's pretty cool with that. But, of course, this ninja wants to pain, be a pain in the balls here. Let's just go inside. Okay, so here we go. Princess Toadstool inside the dungeon feature of this area. Gonna go ahead and build ourselves a stepping ladder with these Toadstools. I'm guaranteed she is Princess Toadstool, so hey. I would say some people like Princess Toadstool. You know, Peach better than Daisy, which is understandable. But, be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I like Daisy better than I do Peach. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I just can't stand Peach. I mean, and I, Mara and I agreed to do this one thing. I mean, they should have a Super Princess Peach or Princess Daisy as a, you know, her own series. And I wish she would. They Nintendo would do something about that. I mean, really. I would support it. 100%. Alright, so let's go ahead and get in here, and of course, King Ramsey's here, is gonna follow us, I'm gonna get the key, and I'm going to run on this side, cause it'll be a lot, the, the fall rate will be actually a lot helpful, but I'm beginning to think he's following, so let's go ahead and drop it for just a few minutes, and here comes a lovely heart, definitely will need that. Alright, just kind of fall to the right here, and go through this door. So we're actually where we need to be. If you if you die in any section, like if you die in this section, and you use a life, you come back to this area. So just keep that in mind. And of course, if you fall down a pit, you die, which is no-brainer in Mario. Super, Super Mario game. I mean, that's the common staple. Okay, so we got some cherries. I don't know if we're going to have enough cherries to... Well, we actually made it to the end here. And some at each three le level 3 area of each world. If sometimes there is a birdo, sometimes there isn't. So you just got to deal with it. But introducing our first foe... Um, his name is Mauser. You get to see him on occasional on the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. 
be somewhat of a dumb person, but at the same time, neither are the Koopa Troopas on that game. Alright, so... You gotta time this right. Alright, so... Let's see. And three hits. We'll definitely finish him. And that did not hit him. Alright, I tried to get him, but... Just, just didn't want to cooperate. Alright, so let's throw one back. Of course, he's gonna avoid it. He's gonna avoid that. Alright, come on. Get hit. Get bopped, like Mar would say. And of course, you want to be careful. Alright, there you go. That's it. And that's the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen. That's easy, but up here are some more bombs if you want to blow up the rest of this, but there's really no point to. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do our slot bonus chance here. All right, so there's one for Princess Tolstol, so I'm just going to go ahead and put one for her. Another cherry opportunity. It looks like I'm going to fail to get all three cherries, but... More lives, the better. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. I knew it. Sometimes the star, the the cherry, the sevens are the hard. The non cherries are difficult to get sometimes. A star. Now. <laughs> oh well. I tried. You get the f just go for the cherries. They're probably a lot easier to get. But they guarantee one life. Uh, shy guy. Or sniff it. There we go. Alright. I'm just going to see if I can get a cherry. Nope. But I got two lives. That's pretty good. Alright, so that's enough of that. In the next episode of Super Mario Bros. 2, we're going to go on and take on World 2. Starting with Toad. We're going to see some see Toad in action for the first time. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you want to see more. Also check out my fellow gaming mercenaries and subscribe to me and my gaming mercenaries. They're really nice people. I hope you like their content as well, as well as you do mine. Um, as far as release things for this LP, I'm actually going to do these somewhat semi-regularly. Kind of like relief episodes from Majora's Mask. Times I can't release in the Majora's Mask episode, I'll record and produce one of these. So that is all I gotta say. So until then, this has been Captain Pound LP. We'll see you guys in World Two One.